Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Augusto Argandoña Fine Arts. Anytime in this narrated tutorial, you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn about my virtual classes or want to see my paintings, you may do so on my website at aafinearts.com. Uh, That's aafinearts.com. Com. This tutorial is one more in my 20 minute watercolor tutorials. Uh, this particular one is about uh, how to paint a snowy winter scene in a, in a forest with a little bit of uh, water on a, a creek. Um, I paint primarily on 140 pound cold press paper. I have tried different brands. I'm pretty much sticking to one brand. Uh, I, my pigments are for the most part uh, Winsor & Newton, although I do use uh, uh, Daniel Smith and some Holbein pigments. And for brushes, I favor the flat brushes, uh, but I do show, I do have couple, maybe three uh, round brushes that I use and you're going to see me use in this uh, demonstration. But um, it will be a combination of flat brushes and, and round brushes. Uh, but I do prefer the, the flat brushes. Um, they are very versatile. You can do very fine lines. You can do very broad strokes and it's very versatile and very flat strokes as well. So, uh, without much ado, let's get to the fun part of this uh, tutorial. Uh, when I said my 20-minute watercolor series, well, the 20 minute will start when I start painting, not when this video started. So, let's, like I said, let's get to the fun part. Okay. So what I'll, I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and um, let me see, I think I'm going to take my watch off and uh, put it in a place where I can see the time and uh, I'll be able to judge that much better rather than trying to look at my watch in my arm. All right, 20 minutes of watercolor, here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the sky area. There's not going to be much sky shown here, but uh, just in case, I will be adding a little bit of that. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, burnt sienna and um, cobalt blue to create a kind of a cool gray. And uh, here we go there with that gray tone. There, like that, like that. I'm going to add a little bit more of the cobalt blue in some areas. And that's pretty much it for the sky. I'm going to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and start on the snow. And for that, I'm going to make a couple of mixtures. One which will have burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, which makes a really beautiful gray. The more burnt sienna, the warmer the gray, the more the ultramarine, the cooler the gray. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit more ultramarine to this gray, They're like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and start doing some of the shadow areas on the snow in this area here, like that. And then I'm going to go, go ahead and pick up a little bit more of the ultramarine mixed with that gray and come over here and maybe make a little cooler gray like that and bring some of that over here too. that. This will be in the shade, there like that, leaving some white areas. Um, I'm going to bring it also a little bit of cerulean blue to that mixture, not much. 
and I come over here and uh, there'll be some other shadows and some cooler grays. Like that, there. And same thing over here. Working with the brush, skips the paper. It looks really good for the snow effects there. Like that. I'm gonna bring a little bit more of that cerulean blue over here too into these areas and that's pretty much it for that snow although I'm over here I'm gonna put some shadows from some of these little sapling trees and a little bit of over here like that and that's about it there but I'm gonna bring a little bit more of that cerulean blue over here there okay so now let me let that dry. My paper over here is almost dry, but uh, I'm gonna change brushes to a round brush. And uh, I'm gonna add some water over here. A little bit more water, like that there. And also in this area, very quickly add some water there. And I'm gonna pick up some yellow ochre, fairly strong yellow ochre, and bring some of that yellow ochre here on that water. A little bit more water in my brush, I like that. There, like that. And something over here where that water is. There, like that. Uh, a little bit more of the yellow ochre in this area, especially the tops of these bushes. There, like that. And uh, now I'm gonna bring in some ultramarine blue. I'm sorry, I'm gonna bring some, I changed my mind, I'm some burnt sienna. Put a little burnt sienna over here, like that. Uh, a little bit of a brown matter. Get a, get a little bit of a reddish tone. There, like that. A little bit more of the brown matter. Over here. Right to the edge of that shady snow. There, like that. Now I'm gonna bring in also some burnt amber really strong burnt amber with before the paper dries and get with the edge of my brush get some of the effects of the the, the bushes the branches or whatever in that area but delineate the area where the snow begins same thing over here Uh, now I'm going to bring in a little bit more of the brown matter into this area. I don't know what kind of bushes these are, but uh, I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to bring in some ultramarine blue by itself into this area here. Paper is beginning to dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more water to my brush, very little amount, there, like that. I'll do the same thing on this side before the paper dries. Right by the edge of the snow. I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to bring in some cerulean blue by itself also. And add some of that cerulean blue here. Maybe a little bit of it here. So a little bit of the cerulean blue there. There, like that. Okay. Now, um, 
Also, I'm gonna take my little pocket knife and while this is wet, I'm gonna create this trunk of this uh, sapling trees that are over here, gonna be over here. And um, get the, the branches. There, like that. that dry. I'm going to also do a little bit of that over here, not too much. There, like that. All right, this is almost dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, wet this area, upper area, right down to those bushes, covering the trees and everything else. Quite a bit of water actually here, uh, but not um, not touching that snow area. Just bring it down like that, right into this bush. Okay, now I'm going to bring some uh, yellow ochre into this area here. Some over here too, and then the other areas. I lost my image. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Come on. There we is. There we are. I have to enlarge it. Okay. I don't want to. I want to. I want to do this before the paper dries. Like that. Now I'm gonna bring in some. Burnt amber. Like that. A little bit of a burnt sienna mixed there. A little bit more burnt amber. Especially over here. Like that. And now I'm going to clean my brush and uh, I'm going to bring a little bit of uh, manganese glue to some of these areas. Now I'll change my mind. I'm going to bring Cerulean blue, yeah, cerulean blue will be better. The manganese kind of turns green. There. Not all over, just a few areas. There, like that. And now I'm gonna bring a little bit more uh, burnt sienna to this area here. Like that. Um, now I'm going to bring in some ultramarine blue, straight ultramarine blue. Yeah, like that. Now I'm going to bring in um, some um, mineral violet with that ultramarine blue. I'm missing that tree there. There, like that. Then I'm going to bring in a little more ultramarine blue. Very dark ultramarine blue with some uh, brown matter. There we are. Yeah. Especially at the bottom. There, like that, and get the strokes, different strokes, different areas of the forest.
paper is beginning to dry, so I gotta work a little faster here. Now I'm gonna change my clean my brush and we'll bring in some clean cobalt blue. Some of it is over here. Some of it is here. I don't know what that is, but I like it. I'm going to bring in some, um, a little bit more of the mineral violet to this area here. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, maybe a little bit more ultramarine in some areas here. And while that's drying, I'm going to pick up some cerulean blue and come over here where the water is. light in this area. All this on dry paper like that and then I'm going to bring in some cobalt blue and come over here yeah, like that. See where the brush skipped the paper and it was great. All these little areas of icy chunks of ice on the on the water. Now I'm gonna bring in some ultramarine, very strong ultramarine blue with um, uh, burnt umber. A bit more water, more ultramarine blue. Stronger over here, like that. There, I'm going to bring some burnt umber there, uh, especially over here on the edge of this snow bank. Like that there and um, a little bit more burnt umber make this a little darker there there like that uh, now I'm gonna change brushes and quickly um, Get my get some uh, ultramarine blue with the burnt amber. Quite a bit of the burnt amber. This is almost dry, and I'm gonna come over here and do this tree. Then like that. Yeah, maybe a little sepia. That would work really well. Make this darker. These branches. There. A little bit more sepia, a small brush, here like this, and this little saplings. And some of the trees over here. Yeah, like that. And some trees in the distance lighter in color, some gray, and some blue, like that. And now 
these trees that started over here, come over here, and these little saplings. Pick up a smaller brush, the rigged brush, and with that rigged brush, and do, do some of the little branches on the sapling trees. And some a little bit of saplings coming out of the snow here, like this. Like that. A little bit over here, like that. There, yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna take uh, some ultramarine blue and sepia uh, right on this bank. I'm gonna put some, maybe a little bit once amber too. Some dirt is exposed in between the, the snow and bring that over here and put a little bit more of that exposed dirt same thing over here there like that and same thing over here bring some cobalt blue with that sepia a lot of cobalt blue into it and come over here and some of that exposed soil. Bring some bronze sienna into it too. Like that. A little bit over here. Give a little bit of texture. A little bit over there. And the bank over here. There's some, some things there. And over here also some exposed dirt, soil or whatever, and rocks and what have you there. I still have a couple of minutes. I bring some burnt amber and uh, come over here and do some of that. There we go. Give a little bit of texture in there. A little bit darker over here too. Give it a little bit of texture with my finger. And lastly, I'm going to take a smaller brush and pick up some uh, sepia and do a little bit more of the trees in the distance. And some of these trees over here. And some over here, some bushes and little sapling trees, branches, a little bit more there. Come and come one over here. And there we are, 20 minute watercolor. I'm going to remove this tape and uh, I'm going to bring a dark board and you will see how this looks like. Here comes the dark board. And, um, and there we are. 20 minute watercolor. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration, this tutorial, and thank you for watching. And um, please visit my website at aafinearts.com where you will see information about my virtual classes and a selection of my paintings and prints. Until next time.